Let's talk a little bit about your work with the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. How sure. did you get involved with it and what are you trying to accomplish? And describe the program a little bit. This program is a training program for physicians in all specialties to become leaders, um, healthcare leaders, and to understand both the research side and the implementation side of making a difference in healthcare. I believe I was in the third cohort of that program um, after it started at UCLA under Bob Brook's direction. It certainly was transformative for me. I um, found the, you know, the methods and uh, the opportunities to do some very large-scale things. I uh, went from being a fellow fresh out of psychiatry residency to co-leading the mental health aspects of the largest social experiment in the history of science, the Rand Health Insurance Experiment. As a young person, to step in, <laughs> you know, to something you knew was historic and, you know, to have a chance to comment on really large things like how the financing of health care um, affected what happened to poor people with mental illness, which is, you know, one of our main um, areas of contribution from that study. Where my work built from there, um, and I think where my creativity that I charged myself to you know, bring forward came into play, was really trying to bring the issues I cared about in psychiatry to some kind of scale like that. Um, you know, how can you learn about something like depression, which people at that time could hardly talk about? How can you understand how it impacts daily life and so forth. I mean, that's its whole other story. But I think, you know, having the clinical uh, position that I had at UCLA um, and, the, uh, and the opportunities that I had to do policy work and at some scale at RAND was, you know, was remarkable. How do you get to be a clinical scholar? How many people are chosen? What do you get when you become one? Tell me a little bit about the cohort. The, yes, and the overall. So the, there's, there are four sides to that. I'm sorry, I got distracted with my personal story. So there are four sides to that program currently. There have been um, seven or eight you know, over time, but there are currently four. And one applies uh, through the Robert Wood Johnson uh, website. There is a national selection through a board that makes that national selection. And, um, and then one is a fellow for two years. There's also a very large VA component to this. Uh, about, um, I think, not quite half the slots currently are VA-funded slots. What's really great about this program, I mean, there are a number of things. You, you get, you know, some salary support at the level of, of a resident of the equivalent years. Um, in some residencies, you can leave mid-residency in surgery. That's the case. Others, you need to complete the residency, like in psychiatry. Um, you get two years of support, some research funding, lots of training, and then this very interesting cohort, both, nas both locally um, from all specialties, ER me medicine, family medicine, psychiatry, internal medicine, surgery, they're all mixed together. Um, and then the cohorts across the sites are, get very strongly connected as well. Um, and there are just a ton of leaders uh, from the Clinical Scholars Program locally and nationally that are a remarkable resource. David Satcher, who was Surgeon General of the United States, um, Nikki Lurie, who's uh, a, a, a Assistant uh, Secretary for Preparedness and Response in uh, Health and Human Services right now, and the list goes on and on. It's a remarkable opportunity to learn how to be a leader, to have the network and the resources to, to make a difference. About how many people are in the program at any given time? Um, I believe now there are 20, 20 to 22. Uh, between the Robert Wood Johnson slots and the VA slots. Here the, locally or per, all over? Nationally per year um, that are selected. And, um, and then there are other fellowships as well that um, others enter into. So locally we will typically have 10 to 12 total fellows across different programs, about half of whom are Robert Wood Johnson uh, clinical scholars at UCLA.